Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Nodding. Today I will be showing you these effects once again, but this time I'm not using Spreadshop. It's just simply Blender and Geometry Nodes. Alright, so uh, this is actually like around 100 times faster than using Spreadshop. However, yeah, as you know, um, as you already know, Geometry Nodes only available for 2.93 alpha. If you are using the older Blender, it will still work with Spreadshop to generate this kind of effects. Okay, so this is Andrew Price, Blender Guru. And all I have here is a plane. <clears throat> so this is a plane and I'm using geometry nodes. And this geometry nodes inside it's a bit, it's just like this. So there are two different kinds. This is the one that's randomly uh, kind of like stipples, points, or scatter, distribute points based on this image, which is texture number one. And you can assign that texture over here under this uh, texture properties. You can use, actually you can use animations, etc. Simply have an object with UV map and you can map this uh, into the picture. Okay, so basically um and then you can do scaling so this one is actually mapping the uv texture into the scale so we already have result on top of that you can do a further scaling and further randomizations you can add in more and randomizations like in this case i simply i uh, simply add randomizations to the height of this cylinder that's I simply instance into the original plane. Okay, so it's pretty, pretty basic and simple. It's pretty fun to create actually. There's another option. So this one is like random points scattered. The other one is using the Poisson, Poisson disk. So this one is super interesting. If you increase the, the distance, you can see how the points is more evenly distributed. So this is really pretty cool. <clears throat> you can see the pattern and yeah, you get the result. Oh, if you see the cylinders looking like that and you might think, okay, I want the cylinder to be at the bottom go to the original cylinder that's around one unit size so one unit size is good for our instance objects so we have our result now this is a I, I call it it's like an art you can use your own portrait or your friends family and now you have a 3d objects this effect actually uh, can be really interesting. So in, instead of using cylinder, you can use like a maybe like a collections of human figures. You probably have seen something like this. So with the texture set up here, you can see the white areas is where the dots is. The darker area will be will be getting smaller dots. So that's a uh, that's uh, something that you can try and test yourself. Okay, you see how you see the difference with, with with and without the randomizations. If I'm not wrong, you can actually kind of turn this off, kind of mute that nodes. Okay, toggle node mute. Tap M, so it's bypassing this node. So you can yeah, you can test a lot of different things like that. All right, so there you go. That's another similar setup to before. And uh, try this yourself. Don't maybe don't just take my blend files. Try to build this yourself. Um, the setup, and you will learn something. Alright, so thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.